Hi there and welcome back. So in the previous video, we looked at the lymphatic capillaries, vessels, ducts, those micro details. Now let's take a look at the lymphatic organs or the uh, major aspect of the lymphatic system. So whether we breathe or whether we eat anything, so God has created adenoids, tonsils, they try to stop the bacteria or virus right there. Um, we have a cervical nodes that will try to help act like a kidney. So the neck lymph nodes are out there. Remember in the previous uh, video we reviewed the thoracic duct that connects to the bloodstream that is out there right in the center plus we see the thymus gland out there uh, pyres patches in the small intestine uh, they play a big role in uh, fighting the bacteria and uh, absorbing the fats likewise uh, we see the uh, inguinal or the growing lymph nodes out there on this side we have a bone marrow appendix uh, armpit uh, there are axillary lymph nodes so we'll get into all these okay so let's start so tonsils and adenoids um, as we eat anything or if we breathe any air they try to purify and see if there are any foreign invaders they try to defend so that's our uh, once inside uh, that's the first line of defense externally speaking we have our skin that tries to do the first thing uh, to protect us okay so um, because of the location of course it helps and this is the inflammation of tonsils uh, we frequently see amongst the children uh, thymus gland remember in the previous slide right at the center right so thymus gland is a lymphatic organ and an endocrine gland that is found just behind the sternum and it secretes the hormones that is crucial for the production, maturation and differentiation of immune T cells. Ultimately, it leads to the immune response and uh, to fight against the virus, bacteria or the foreign invaders. Um, the thymus gland is active in developing the immune system from before birth and through the childhood. Let's talk about the spleen. It is not connected to the lymphatic system in the same way as the lymph nodes, but the spleen is a lymphoid tissue. So that means it plays a role in the production of white blood cells that form part of the immune system. And in the major role, we have reviewed this before in hematology and other presentation series that it does uh, destroy the all damaged blood cells and platelets, right? And uh, besides that, it assists uh, in the whole process. It filters, stores the blood, and produces the white blood cells that can fight the infection or disease. Liver of a fetus during gestation plays a role as a part of lymphatic system. Okay in the lymphatic development. Pious pages are, they are the uh, finger-like, uh, we have seen in a uh, uh, different presentation series uh, with the different slides and also you here again. So pious pages are the small masses of lymphatic tissue in the mucous membrane that lines our small intestine. And these lymphoid cells monitor and destroy bacteria in the intestine. Appendix, uh, they are known for um, carrying good bacteria that can help and uh, they of course destroy the bad bacteria to assist the intestine in the process.
and the absorption. Okay. Let's talk about the bone marrow. Bone marrow is technically not a uh, lymphatic tissue, but is considered a part of lymphatic system because it is here that B cell lymphocytes of the immune system mature. This soft spongy tissue in the center of certain bones like hip bone, breast bone, um, this bone marrow, what it does, white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, they are all made here in bone marrow. Uh, the lymphatic system plays a, a key role in the immune system, fluid balance, absorption of fats and fat soluble nutrients. So those are the three main things that uh, lymphatic system does and uh, eventually uh, we will get into one by one all these functions. So let's start with the fluid balance. Remember the 20 liter circulates, 18 liter comes back, the remaining 2 liters or the 10% of the circulated fluid. What happens to that? That is something uh, the lymphatic system plays a big role in balancing that fluid. It maintains the balance of fluid between the blood and the tissues known as fluid homeostasis. Around 90% of the plasma that which is, I'm not going to repeat, we just reviewed that. So, but imagine this, that if there is a loss of lymphatic system, okay, it would be fatal within a day because then um, you will have excess fluid that would lead to underwriters know the typical edema, right, pause, you name it. And think about the pressure inside, it would also increase. So it's a big no-no. So the fluid balance is very crucial and like we have a drainage system in our home, just like that, from a small tubes to bigger tubes, we reviewed in the previous slide from capillaries to vessels to uh, lymph nodes to ultimate ducts, the process works like that. The second important aspect or the function of the lymphatic system is absorption. So it facilitates the absorption of fats and fat soluble nutrients in the digestive system. So most of the fats absorbed from the GI tract are taken up in part in a part of the gut mem membrane in the small intestine that is specially adapted by lymphatic system. Uh, the lymphatic system has tiny ductiles in this part of the intestine that form part of the villi. Uh, these finger-like protruding structures are produced by the tiny folds in the absorb absorptive surface of the gut. Lactils absorb fats and fat soluble vitamins to form a milky white fluid called chyme. So, absorption is another key function of the lymphatic system. And the last but not least is about the immune system. Immune system is the third and very important aspect of the lymphatic system. It is basically our defense system. So when we come again, we'll get into other details of the lymphatic and immune system. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.